Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try things out for you so you know what to buy, and more importantly, what not to buy. And today I am back with another hits and misses roundup of all of the things I've been testing, things that I've been revisiting from the past that I'm like, hmm, what's going on here? Is it better? Was I wrong? All the things in one little video. So if you wanna see the latest there, stick around and let's get into it. First things first, I am wearing 100% Pure's Matte lipstick in Marrakesh for my lipstick lovers. It's a good one. It's always a hit. I don't know if I want to start with the hits or the misses. We're going to start with the misses. Bad news first, right? So the first miss on the docket isn't a hard miss. No. Okay. No. The first real miss, which is there's nothing any of us can do about this. Sometimes this just happens, but our beloved Herbivore Bakuchio Serum, the Retinol Alternative Serum, has been discontinued. I just am bummed, but I'm not crazy bummed because I've moved on to an entirely different skincare regimen. Although, and I'll touch on this in my hits, it's going to be integrative. I'm not just gonna do one versus the other. One is DIY skincare, the other is what I purchase out there from brands that I love. I kinda wanna do a combo platter and this was gonna be one of the items that I was gonna keep around and I found out it's no longer available. So a lot of you have been asking if I have a Bakuchiol alternative serum. I don't have one yet for you. I haven't been trying other skincare outside of the stuff that I've been creating myself and I've been testing it for 30 days and I have the 30 day final review coming up and I'm so excited but still I like having I like knowing it's there at least like don't just stop making it if I do come up with something in the future I'll let you know the next miss well it was sort of a meh miss it wasn't a wow that was bad I've almost gotten through three quarters of this little bottle it's the inner sense I create lift volumizing foam and foam by the way I just said that really weird and I don't know why it's a best Best of Beauty Allure winner from 2018. It was like 12 years ago. A lot of people love it. A lot of people love Innersense. A lot of people have asked me to try Innersense. This just really didn't do much for me. I had immediate results in terms of lift and volume, but it really just flattened out. It did not stick around. I think some of this is due to scalp health. I am also going to explore that. I didn't want to give this too much of a harsh review because it did give me some lift and it could just be the health of my scalp that is messing with it. I don't know that yet though. And I just was let down. And this is like the third product from them that I've tried. I tried their leave-in conditioner. I felt nothing. I just it's supposed to be like a spiritual experience. I have one of my closest friends uses that and loves it. I have fine hair. I have a lot of it. I color treat it. I use heat styling tools, so I'm mean to it. I'm starting to do a lot of masks and stuff to build it back up to its former glory. And we'll see. For my type of hair, it hasn't worked. I think it might be better for thicker hair, I'm guessing. I don't know. If you've tried this and it's worked, let us know. What are your tips? What are your tricks? What are you doing? What's the magic behind your method? I need to know. We need The world needs to know. For real. Okay, so the first hit is my skin has really never looked or felt better, honestly, and that's because of what I've been doing. I will have a full 30-day review up, if not by the time of this video, then next week for sure. So that's my first hit. Yay, that was actually ridiculously easy to do. I mean, it took a lot of time, but man, it's like not even that expensive. I've saved so much money. It'll all be on that video more coming soon. The next hit is from Anika. This is the Kirby Lash Mascara. I have tried their Bold Lash Mascara and I actually really liked it. Um, this, I might like more than the Bold Lash. I'm just saying, I might, I don't, I mean. My Bold Lash is expired, so I have to actually get another one and do a true test between the both of them. But this is a very, very good mascara if you're looking for lengthening, which like, who isn't? A lot of people really need that curl. I already have it a little bit naturally using the lash curler with this, no primer. Pretty fantastic, I have to say. And it deposits enough product on there so it, you can see it, it's impactful. It's just not that multiplying of lashes. It's the symbol for lash multiplication, if you didn't know. The other hit is the 100% Pure Mattifying Primer. I did try this, you guys. Had this for a while and I just haven't gotten around to fully testing it the way I wanted to. This is pretty darn good. I was a little nervous about it because it felt really slick when I first applied it. And I had a feeling, I was—I I really thought it was gonna cause some breaking out. It didn't. It kept the oil at bay. I won't say that it is the best, most mattifying if you are looking for matte, matte, 
matte. I could still see a little bit of shine, but that was me after moving around a lot. Still, this did a very good job. It's very lightweight. It's just really good. Check out the full review. And I was very surprised. I usually don't do a lot of mattifying things, but trying this made me think, hmm, I could see the benefits and advantages there. I have a couple of on the fence. You've already seen the reviews. I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail here, but the Hint Sun Prep, I thought it was a great product. I just don't know if I'm gonna be using it a lot. One of you did recommend that applying this with a powder foundation on top is a nice combination. So I'm gonna give that a try. I'll get some more use out of it that way. I like it. I'm just kind of like, mm, I don't know if I need it. And then the Kosas bronzer, I liked it. Um, the scent, listen, I don't know. I. I don't know what that is. I liked it, I liked the application, I liked the payoff. I just wasn't a fan of the shade, which is a very personal thing. I gave it a really positive review. It just, for me, wasn't a repurchase situation. And speaking of that, another hit was a happy accident that happened. So I had this and there was some kickback there. It does give a little bit of kickback. I kicked back and then it was on my hand and I had jojoba oil because at the time I was filming an application and usually I remove my makeup using jojoba oil. And I had a little bit of the bronzer, I hit the jojoba, I just blended it in and I went, hello. This is a really good way to do, you know how they have those body bronze lotions and stuff. That worked really well. I was surprised. You'll have to like maybe maybe carve it out or get a loose bronzer. Just get a loose bronzer with a little bit of sheen. Hit is a good one to use there. Pop a little bit of that in your palm. Put a little bit of light oil. Light oil, that's why I liked jojoba. Rub it around and just, you know, decollete. Hello. A little bit of shine, a little bit of bronze. I was excited about that discovery. The last thing is an inside. Oh, actually there's two more. See, there was a lot of hits, I'm not lying. I discovered, I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I am just sharing what I like right now, okay? So consult a doctor, consult a doctor, consult a doctor. Also, consult a doctor, medical professional. I am not that. I did find this Mary Ruth's company. It's a supplement company, it's a healthcare company, it's a wellness company, I don't know, classify it how you will. This is a gummy vitamin and I'm testing them out. They taste absolutely delicious. They are vegan. There's a whole lot going on here. Really great reviews. So I got the D3 and B12 because Lord knows we can all use some vitamin D right now. B12, always. I just know I'm deficient in it. I also got the Omega 3679. These do not taste like fish. They taste like mango and I enjoy them. And so I'm just popping gummies, living my best life. Is it the best form? Probably not, but I like it. And um, I'm only one week in. It's all a part of the whole ecosystem, you know? The last is just a rediscovery of this palette. This is the Lawless One palette. I've done a review on this. I liked it in the review. It wasn't really highly remarkable for me at the time, at the time. I had other palettes that I was using. I have been diving into this so much lately. I'm wearing three or four shades right now, but they're these peach terracotta shades that I have on the lid at the moment. Work so well for summer with a bronze and a pink lip. I am really, really loving rediscovering this palette. It's warmer, it's not the cool shades, but it's just been great. I just wanted to let you guys know that. And that's really that it. Awesome. If you have any hits or any misses of the week, do share them in the comments below. What did you think about these hits and misses? Have you tried any of them? If so, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video like this one. I'm gonna go put all this away and test out some more products and I will be right back here real soon. Until then, bye.